Hello everyone, it is Infamous Mango here from Big Big Nation and today I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft bucket server with port forwarding and this is a tutorial that is also meant for beginners who have never port forwarded before and anyone can actually watch this I'll make this tutorial as quick and clear as I possibly can so let's get started you're gonna need craft bucket that's the only thing and guys please read the description all the written instructions downloads the links even solutions if your friends can't join will be there a lot of you guys comment with questions but if you read the description you would find it right away so do that and go to this page wiki.bucket.org slash setting up a server now scroll down to whatever operating system or software you use if you have a mac or linux go down here i have windows so i'm going to stay up here and it says download craft buckets latest build so you can click on that and it should download right away and as it's doing that you go to your desktop right click create a new folder you can call it anything you want your awesome server um, I already have that what okay let's just call it awesome server now open that up sorry about that and drag in your craft bucket our jar and this is where a lot of you guys get messed up if you start your server and you get a f error that system cannot find path specified this is why when you rename it you just want it to be craft bucket dot jar right however on my computer it's already a jar file so if I wrote dot jar it wouldn't make sense because it would really be craft bucket dot jar dot jar so right now the extension is hidden if I go to properties as you can see it's a uh, jar file dot jar so if I wrote dot jar it would turn out to be dot jar dot jar and it wouldn't work so guys don't mess up right here because in the code it's just dot jar so don't mess up so now you have to create a new text document open that up put it over here and now you want to copy one of these codes if you have a java 6 and you have 64 bit java you want to copy paste this if you want to find out what operating system you have go to computer right click properties system type i have 64 bit right and if I want to find out what Java I have, I go to my C drive. I go to program. This is 32 bit. This is 64 bit. So I'm going to open up this source. There we go. I have Java. Oh, and I have Java 7. So I have Java 7 64 bit. And so I'm not going to even use this code because I don't have Java 6. But over here is the 64 bit for Java 7. If I had 32 bit Java and 64 bit computer, all you would have to do is go right here, program files, and type in bracket x86 bracket percent I'll put the codes in the description for you to easily copy paste so I'm gonna copy paste this because I have Java 7 and I have 64 bit so I do not have to edit it at all so I can go file save as um, start do whatever you want but make sure you have a dot bad at the end which stands for Windows batch file and save it as all files if you guys have trouble with this part you can always message me or comment so now you should have a batch file so you can delete your text document click start and it should start your server right away you may get some warnings cannot find file specified that is because it's the first time loading and it's right now it's loading all the files in your folder so don't worry about that and wait for it to end and it should say done okay there we go done so you've done you have made your server right now now I'll show you how to port forward so basically what you want to do is right Go to your search bar and type in cmd command. Open up your command window and type in ipconfig. IP config. Click enter. Should load up all of the stuff and go up to wireless LAN adapter, wireless network connection. Basically, the internet you use. And then you want to look at your default computer number. Mine's default gateway. And I think there's only a few types of these numbers. So basically, that number is what you're going to use next. I'm just going to make this page bigger. You're going to create, a, open a new tab in your browser and type HTTP. You have to do this, otherwise it might not work. Um, slash slash, and then type in your default computer number exactly as shown. And I'm going to click enter. It should take some time to load. Sometimes it even says it cannot find the web page, but if you click reload, it should come back. It should take you to your router page, basically and then that's how you port forward from there so we're gonna wait for that okay there so it couldn't find the web page if you click reload it comes back so oh and if you're having trouble I don't think you have to actually put the HTTP in my bad but anyways once you get to this page your router page it should open up type in your password you made while you 
for your router you should have made that a while ago I think there's also a default password so type that in and you should log on and now all routers may be a di bit different but it should be similar as well you may have to look around for port forwarding I'm gonna go to advanced here on my D-Link router and go to port forwarding make sure you don't go to virtual server because it looks similar to port forwarding and I messed up once so go to port forwarding tab and it should look like this I'm just gonna close all of these and basically what you wanna do for your name is type in anything you want minecraft server something too easy to identify that will be your application name for your schedule always inbound filter always allow all and TCP and UDP you have to make it 25565 because this is the port minecraft uses so 25565 IP address basically go back to your command window and you should see a line called IP4 address now this is a IP you want to use and put right here so look at your IP4 address in your command window and copy it exactly as shown and there we go and then you have to double check make sure it's the right thing and so you have your name you have TCP UDP at 25565 allow everything and your IP4 address and make sure you actually select the thing so I made a mistake like that once so select it and then click save settings and your router may have to reboot and you should do that so we're gonna be back after it's done rebooting okay there we go it's done so basically you have port forwarded now so the only IP things you use from your command window is IP4 address and your default computer number so you can close that up now and now if you want to find out what IP you actually give your friends go to this page in the description IP chicken it'll tell you what your IP address is and you can just copy paste this this is you, you can use this to log on to so you can minimize this now we're gonna go open up our awesome server we're going to start the server and then I'm going to open up minecraft here and your server should load up with everything fine let's just open up minecraft go to multiplayer direct connect you can even type local host in for you to join because it is your your you're hosting it it is your server so you can type local host in or you can just type in the IP from IP chicken so there's local host you know that works let me add a server here uh, whatever and just copy paste the IP chicken right here click done and click on that and you should be able to log in and your friends can join you and a few things if your friend can join try going to Windows firewall just type firewall right here and go right here and Windows Firewall on or off and try turning it off that usually works and allows your friends to connect to you or if your friends have non-premium accounts and they can't connect go to your server properties and change your online mode to false and go file save and if you can't join with the IP try telling them to put a colon 25565 at the end and those are just a few ways so this is how you make a bucket server well port forwarding if you run into any errors don't give up check the description and if you can't find it, comment or message me so I can help you personally. So that's how you do everything. So guys, if this helped, please help support us and leave a like, favorite, subscribe to us. It really helps us out. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Peace.